Hey everybody, this is Woody, and uh, here today with a little tutorial on how to get skeletal meshes out of Blender and into Unreal. The first thing we gotta note is that um, we're gonna have major problems with our world scale. So if I go over to my units here and go to unit scale, I'm gonna want 0 .0, 0.01, so a hundredth of the scale. And I don't know why this is, why these two don't talk to each other the right way, but if we're doing an FBX export, this is really important. You'll go up to the top here, grab export, and then select FBX. So it's important that we have everything that we need selected. So once you have it selected, um, here's the order of importance when exporting for Unreal. So we're gonna start by getting selected objects and we're only gonna want mesh and armature. Now, if you shift click, you can select both of those. Because if you single click, you're not going to get any, or you're only going to get one. Um, and then uh, you can leave transform alone. In geometry, change normals only to face. You can leave the rest of that stuff alone. And when you go down to bake animation, oh wait, I should say, uh, there's one other thing. Yeah. Turn off add leaf bones and click only deform bones. Now, when you go to uh, bake animation, you can add the animations if you want to. If you really think that animations are gonna be helpful for what we're doing, you can absolutely include them here and there's options for doing that. But for now, we're just gonna go with this single character. I'm gonna go to my FBX folder and then I'm gonna name this test rig. And this is version 1.8, uh, 1.8, I think. So, that's what I'm gonna export here. So let's import our model. So we're gonna import. Now this dialog box is incredibly, incredibly important. So we wanna make sure we have a skeletal mesh and that it's set to import the mesh. Uh, we want no skeleton selected, which means it will generate a new skeleton. This is important for your first time. However, if you're going to make updates to the model in the future or variations of the model, you're going to want this first skeleton, the one we're about to generate, to be selected. Import animations I'm going to leave false for now, but you'll want this on in the future. Now, some of the stuff that we really need is, should, is hidden behind this show advanced panel. We're not going to worry about our vertex colors. Uh, or our smoothing groups and stuff like that, that's all fine. Now, the big one here is import morph tar targets. If we don't import morph targets, every time we import a model, we're not gonna get our blend shapes, which is gonna be a big problem. Additionally, I change my compute normals to import normals, and this is really helpful because in Blender, I'm paying attention to how the normals look. The normals are what give things that roundness to them. Now for material, uh, we, can, we have some options here. Leave this set to local. Uh, we'll leave turn on create new material for now. Go ahead and hit import all. Now, what the result is when we pull it in is our fully rigged model in Unreal. As always, there's a link in the description to our Discord channel where you can chime in with others about how to create stylized characters and all of that good stuff.